watching Brew and Fuel. Humongous sponsored video. Coors paid us 30 grand to make this video. You are a liar. liar. You are You're a liar. liar. That's why I color coordinated my Coors Banquet beer label with this beautiful sweatshirt, crew neck. Two truths and a lie, ready? <laughs> Corey is 100% sober. Coors is paying us to make this video. The thing hanging off my body is 30 inches long. So we just did three lies and no truths? <laughs> guys are weird. 1936, they debuted this stubby bottle. By the way, I was kidding. Of course this isn't sponsored by Coors. They've got much bigger fish to fry, and they're not YouTubers. Which they should be, though. Like, reach out to influencers. Like, we're just out here promoting your product. Coors, can you imagine how dope of a video we could make for Coors? We could fly all the way to Golden, Colorado. Bro, and make a video about the me? gigantic banquets that they have <laughs> on every eve. We're making our way through the first six pack of stubby bottles we've ever bought together. So, you know, enjoy with us. I mean, there's, there's beer in there. I mean, rocking the newest number six with cheese shirt. Sure, I'll have a drink. And also, the sure, I'll have a drink koozie. Uh, you can get both for $35. So you get the shirt and you get the koozie for 35 bones. It helps the series. Think of it more. Think of it more as a donation. And also, I got the number six with cheese hat that none of you human beings can get and a sweatshirt that if anybody says they know where it's from, they're liars. What about the sunglasses on your faucet? Now that you can get at number six with cheese.com. <laughs> Doesn't that feel like we rehearsed that? Yeah, and that's why <laughs> that's, we went to comedy improv, school. Bro. That was good improv. We've been nerding out because these dope banquet bottle tops, they have little messages. Can you read that? They have little messages on there. Golden since 1873. What's your say? <laughs> I don't know why yours just keeps giving you facts and mine keeps giving me some sort of life lessons. You need them. Mine says, get your hands dirty. That <laughs> is disturbing on a lot of levels. First off, I've already jerked off three Oh, levels. okay. No. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No. No. No, no, no. If you're here for the food, boy do we have a 50% savings for you. Bro, this is one of my favorite things in the world to get. So this is where? Walmart. This is Walmart's brand. And not only that, this was normally a $9 cheese stuffed crust pepperoni pizza, which they always are discounted for some reason. This was $4.50. We saved, I went to college, 50%. Got ourselves a genius over here. Harvard Law <laughs> is what I would tell the girls. And just visiting for the weekend. She doesn't even go here. Do you even go to this school? No. This is one of my go-to moves. They're not frozen pizzas, they're like a fr fresh, fresh made. made. Fresh, fresh, fresh made. made. Make the order. Make fresh. Freshly made. Exactly. <laughs> Dude, I'm going for the big slice. Oh, bro, we got stuffed crust too. I yeah. almost forgot. I said oh, it. I forgot. All right, so this is the Walmart market side cheese stuffed crust pepperoni pizza. Let's do it. Cheers. Savage. <laughs> Oh, that's good cheese, though. Is it? I mean, when it's not frozen, it just tastes better. Yep. Mm. I like the front end, too. <laughs> I'll tell you what. Mm. This was a fantastic suggestion by you. Dude, the sauce is pretty good. I usually like uh, store-bought sauces. If you live on the north side of Chicago, so we always go to the Walmart at Broadway, just north of Diversity. And every time I've been in there with Corey, they have discounted pizzas. Because like this one, the freshness date is today's date. So like we knew we were making it an hour after we bought it. And a lot of times I'll do that on like a Friday. Yeah. If I go grocery shopping on Friday, I'm like, I know I'm gonna eat this tonight because it's a Friday, why not, you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You ever have those Friday, why nots? I mean, I do that five days a week. That's why I look the way I do. <laughs> they got these short little stubby things too. It's like a flatbread move you can make. Mm -hmm. Oh, those are dope as hell too. Their sauce, mm, good salty, good sweet. This crust is like a breadstick. Do that. That is really good stuff, crust. It kind of reminds me of like an old school Pizza Hut pizza. Yeah. It's fantastic. I'll take this over any frozen pizza any day of the week. I couldn't agree more. There's just more of a freshness to it. Mm-hmm. Uh, I would rather have any of the chains. I don't know, man. I'd rather have this than Papa John's. That's but cool. I'd rather have Domino's Pizza Hut or Little Caesars, of course. That's cool you're in the might club. <laughs> I'm in the must club. I'm thoroughly impressed by that. When you walk into a Walmart, instead of going all the way back to like the frozen food section where the pizzas are, they're more close to like the fresh food, like mm -hmm. by the produce and stuff. Mm -hmm. So keep an eye out. You know it's good when the serving size is a ninth of the pizza. <laughs> I also like whoever that guy is. On I mean, if this guy's the one serving it up, no wonder it's so good. Mustachio to me, yeah, I like just, him. Just, you know, obviously a Chicago chef. <laughs> yeah, clearly. clearly. No Italian ties at all. I wonder how many Walmarts you can find these at. What? I wonder if it's like most of them, some of them, a lot of them. Comment below. Um, on the count of drum, Eric Dromo. Thank you. Uh, thumbs up or thumbs down on whether or not you get this market side cheese stuffed crust pepperoni pizza, not frozen. It's kind of like fresh, but I knew it. Oh! Oh! Right? That's some good stuff, huh? I mean, everybody at home, what if they were like, well, I'm shocked by that? <laughs> it's right by the Entenmann's aisle. It's an Entenmann's. <laughs> it's an Entenmann's. <laughs> 
they have a castle at Windsor? <laughs> no, they have a display case at the end of the aisle. Yeah, I don't know, man. Great. The beer, I mean, Coors Banquet, I'm a fan. I'm going to start buying it more and so more and good. more and more. Actually, even, went to even though I know it's nostalgic, I still just, I love it. I love it. Um, did I tell you I went to Golden, I went to Coors this year. The brewery? Yeah, for Jeff's wedding. Did you need a passport? Isn't that foreign owned now? Is that what you need to get into those businesses? Keep going with the bit. <laughs> <laughs> no, you didn't need a passport. <laughs> Don't I play that dumb character so well? You actually think I like I'm people, stupid. People don't realize how intelligent you actually are. I like that you <laughs> If you want to go on the tour, it's about three and a half hours. I was like, what? Get in line! I was like, well, what? It, everyone's walking around with this free beer. Can you just get free beer? They're like, oh yeah, there's no line for that. I was like, what? Sounds yeah. like you had a comedian from the Blue uh, Blue Collar Comedy Tour. <laughs> yeah. Go get the t-shirt. Go get the sunglasses. Easily the sickest shirt we've had. Get on, the koozies. The way, so. Thank you guys seriously. Very, very like, for real though. For, for supporting real, the though? show. For, for I love real. You. For real. Sure! You were tired this week. After work, pick up a pizza and a beer. You'll have a drag. And a pizza, and another drag. After a couple meals, you have a couple more slices, and you'll for sure have another drag. I lost my co-host. I'll have another slice, then another drag, 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 drag. Corey? <laughs>